It's pretty well known that packing cubes are great for minimalist travel, or carrying as much as possible within a small space. Now, I've been using the same packing cubes for at least five years, and they're starting to get old and get holes in them, so I'm on the lookout for new packing cubes. And I've got three in front of me here that I want to try out. They range in price from $20, the cheapest, to $50, to $95, so quite the range. And I'm very curious to see which one is going to be best for me. I'm going to start out with my first impressions for each packing cube and give you some specs about how much they hold. And then I'm going to see how much clothing I can fit in each of these packing cubes and determine which one is going to be best for me. Now, in terms of introducing these packing cubes, I'm actually gonna start in the middle because to me, these packing cubes are the most basic and straightforward. These are the Eagle Creek packets and they come in a variety of colors. And when I first unboxed them and started to touch them, I noticed that they are super lightweight. The material is so thin, which is a good thing in that it weighs, you know, very little but I do wonder about the long-term durability of this fabric. These packing cubes come in a set of three. There are three different sizes. And I will say that the zippers are really nice. I like that they have these uh, little lanyard pull strings on them, make it super easy to pull, but they do give it kind of this outdoorsy vibe. I also really like that each packing cube has a handle, which makes it really easy to pull in and out of your bag. I opted for this gold color because Gemini Connect colors, gotta stay on brand, but they actually have some fabric that is see-through, which allows you to see what's inside of your packing cubes, which again can be good or bad because sometimes that can show just how messy it is inside of the packing cubes. But like I said, these packing cubes are the most straightforward of the bunch. It's just a zipper, a big compartment, and you stick as much stuff inside as you can. The other nice thing about these Eagle Creek packet cubes is that they come with a lifetime warranty. Now it doesn't cover cosmetic damage or things that you've done to the packing cube to damage it, but if the zippers become worn, they're implying that you might be able to get it repaired or even replaced under that warranty, which is really nice. Next, let's talk about the $20 packing cubes here. These are by Bagale, which I bought some packing towels from them before. So they do actually make other travel related products, but they are a lesser known brand compared to Eagle Creek and Peak Design, at least in my world. But the nice thing about these Bag Ale ones, besides the price, is that they come with the most amount of packing cubes. You actually get four, but I think there's even an option to get as many as six. And they also offer the widest variety of colors and patterns, if that's something that you're interested in. The fabric of these Bag Ale packing cubes is also the thickest of the bunch. I don't know exactly what it's made out of, but it definitely feels like it's water resistant. And because it's so thick, they are a little bit heavier, but I do actually think that they'll hold up really well over time and they'll be less likely to be scratched or broken. The zippers are also nice and thick and they slide really easily. And each packing cube has a handle. But the most interesting thing about these Bag Ale packing cubes is that there's a zipper for the main compartment, but there's an extra zipper, which offers some expansion. So it's kind of like your suitcases. You have that extra zipper so your suitcase can expand or contract based on how much stuff is inside of it. And these packing cubes work the same way, which I've never seen on packing cubes, but I am very curious to see how well this compression works. In terms of the warranty, it's not a lifetime. I think it lasts for about three years. So it is less than Eagle Creek and Peak Design, but for the price, I mean, I think it's okay. It's not a lifetime warranty considering how cheap these are. And finally, we have the Peak Design packing cubes. So Peak Design, if you're not familiar, they make a bunch of accessories, mostly for camera gear, like tripods, camera straps, even bags. So I've owned quite a few Peak Design products but uh, I never owned their packing cubes until now, so I am very curious about how these are gonna stack up, especially considering that they're the most expensive. So I got three of them, and they're close to $100, which is pretty pricey compared to these. But um, yeah, the thing about these Peak Design packing cubes is that they come in slightly untraditional sizes. There's only three available at the moment. There is a small, medium, and a shoe pouch. And 
Yeah, I hope that they come out with more size options because that might be really nice in the future. But I will say that this medium size packing cube is actually quite large. It was much bigger than I expected. So that is nice. The material is very thin. It's not as thin as the Eagle Creek, but it is thinner than the Bagale. And supposedly this again is ripstop nylon that is also self-healing. So supposedly if it gets like a scratch, it'll self-heal, which I don't wanna test that out, but I am really curious about how exactly that works. Speaking of the material, Peak Design also does not offer a wide selection of colors. I think there are three colors that you can choose from and they're all pretty neutral. But because the material is so thin and lightweight, these are very lightweight packing cubes. Again, not as lightweight as Eagle Creek, but definitely pretty thin and doesn't weigh a whole lot. The Peak Design packing cubes have a main pocket plus a side pocket and a compression zipper. These packing cubes do have handles, but they are very narrow. They're not nearly as big and as generous as the ones that you find on the Eagle Creek and the Bagale, but still nice to have. And the zippers are also, they're pretty thick. I like the zipper quality a lot. I like that they have these little pull strings here to help you uh, zip and unzip. But you know, besides being quite expensive, these are highly rated. So I am very curious to see Actually, these are all highly rated. So we're gonna now do the packing test and see what it's like to pack clothing inside of these packing cubes. And yeah, just see how it goes from there. Oh, and the Peak Design comes with a lifetime warranty, which I have used in the past since I have owned their other products and it works out really well. Their customer service is phenomenal. So that is definitely a plus for Peak Design and it slightly justifies their higher price for their products. So next up, let's do the packing test. I've laid out roughly a week's worth of clothing for me. So we've got underwear, socks, three pairs of pants, five shirts. I sweat a lot, so I need to make sure that I have a shirt for every day. But I don't know about you, but I personally tend to re-wear my pants. I don't need to wash them between each use, but I will give them a day in between usage. And I am also packing for a specific trip. We are going to France in late April. So that is the weather and the climate that I have in mind. So most of my clothing is cotton. I do have some merino wool, uh, but on the note of merino wool, I will say that I recently got this merino wool shirt from Unbound Merino. This is also one of their sweaters. And I've been wearing it over the past couple of days to kind of test it out and see how I feel about it. And personally, <laughs> I wish that I'd done this sooner because I don't have enough time to buy more of these before my trip. But if I could, I would because I love this material. It is softer than cotton and it's also quick dry. It is odor resistant. So merino wool is just one of those things. It's rather expensive, but when you consider all the properties that go into that fabric, it is the perfect fabric for travel. So unfortunately, I will only have two merino wool shirts uh, to bring with me on this trip, but actually all my socks are merino wool. So I am already into merino wool to a point, but um, yeah, I wanna dive deeper into that. So just a tip, if you can get a lot of merino wool to stock in your suitcase. Let's go ahead and start testing out the Eagle Creek. Uh, packing cubes since they are the most basic and see how packing goes with it. So Eagle Creek, I actually fit all of my clothing and even had some extra room to spare in the larger packing cube. I was so skeptical about this extra small one. I was like, I don't know how practical this is gonna be, but I fit all of my socks and underwear inside of this packing cube. It was a bit of a squeeze to actually get the zipper closed, but all the underwear fits in here, which is really nice. For the medium one, I got my bras and about half my shirts inside of this one. I actually chose to keep a little bit of room in here because my shirts, again, are not all merino, so I do worry about them wrinkling a little bit. So I actually probably could transfer some more shirts out of this one into the bigger one to avoid some of that compression in there and possible wrinkling of the fabrics. But this one closed, uh, the zipper closed with ease. So that's really nice. And this bigger one, the three pairs of pants, 
the extra shirts fit in here and I have room to stick something else in here. So yeah, no problem fitting all of my clothing into the Eagle Creek. I also did notice that the inside of these packing cubes is a little slippery and because they don't hold their form well, it can be a little tricky to get things inside, especially if you are, you know, reaching the end of the room, it uh, is a little challenging to make sure everything stays inside while you try to fit more things in and then close the zipper in the end. But now let's move on to the peak design packing cubes and see how those handle all of these clothes. Well, once again, my clothes fit without a problem inside of these peak design packing cubes. I was actually worried I was gonna have to use the shoe pouch to store clothing, that it wouldn't be enough space, but I guess I'm packing a lot lighter than I expected. And as I'm packing, I'm realizing I forgot to pack like a nightgown, something to wear for sleep, and even some chill pants, something to you know lounge around. So this, so this packing cube, this medium one, uh, there is so much extra space inside of it, so I will definitely add probably one more set of clothes, top and bottom, for a lounge wear. Uh, but even then, like this is nowhere near being um, too packed, I would say. There's still space to add things. But once again, I did have a bit of an issue with the inside of these packing cubes. They are so smooth, which feels nice at first, but then the clothes do slide around once you start to put them inside. So it does make packing them a little challenging, but once everything is zipped up, uh, it feels very, very secure. Um, I'd say it actually feels more secure when you have it more fully packed because things don't slide around. Since this bag is not fully packed, there's still space, I can feel the clothes kind of sliding around in there. Uh, another interesting thing is that the zippers don't meet. There's actually a little gap between them, which I guess makes it a little easier to open them, but I do wish that they actually fully closed on each end. But overall, a pretty good experience using these Peak Design packing cubes. Now let's go ahead and check out the Bagale packing cubes which, because they come with so many, I can already say I'm probably not going to fill them all up. So let's start with the small ones and work our way up to the big one. Well, these are the bagales. And as I suspected, I only needed two other packing cubes. I thought I might need a third, but two, the smallest ones in that set of four, actually fit my week's worth of clothing. And the compression worked out pretty well. So in here I have my underwear and Actually, yeah, this is all just underwear, bras, socks, and then all of my clothing, the pants and the shirts, are in here. And yeah, I'm actually quite impressed with these. I was not sure how this compression would actually work. Um, for the underwear, I actually left quite a bit of extra space in there. I left it kind of loose because I figured you can't have it be super stuffed and then expect it to compress. Um, and this compressed really easily. For the clothing, I did pack it a little more tightly and it was a little bit harder to get the compression zipper to go fully around, but it made it. It actually did a really good job. And I am so impressed that all those clothes actually fit in this one cube here. So, packing cube conclusion. I'm actually filming this the next day because it took me the rest of yesterday to finish packing. And so, I have thoughts. As I stated earlier, the Eagle Creeks to me are a little too basic for how expensive they are. So those I will not be keeping. I will be returning them since all I did was unbox them. Uh, but the Bag Gales were by far my favorites. I chose to only keep my underwear in the Bag Gales. So this is the smallest Bag Gale. It is fully compressed and all of my underwear fits inside of this one. But I took the rest of my clothes and I decided not to keep them in the bagale, uh, the smaller uh, cube, just because I felt that it was too compressed. And I do worry about the clothes wrinkling. I mean, we don't even leave for a few more days, so I'm packing pretty well in advance here. So I chose to go with the small peak design instead. 
So you can see that everything does indeed fit. I had to uh, open the compression uh, zipper and I cannot close the compression zipper. Like it's not even close. So I've pretty much maxed out the space of the small Peak Design Cube. And so I will say that about the Peak Design, it does have compression, but you really can't stuff it in the same way that you can with the Bag Gales. I think you can push the Bag Gales a little bit further and the compression works better. So you have to get the right amount of things inside of the Peak Design to make the compression work. Because if you have too little, you know, there's nothing really to compress. If you have too much, it just won't compress at all. But with the Bag Gales, it's a lot more flexible. This is the medium sized Bag Gale. It looks kind of like a pillow, but it's actually rock hard. It's not very soft. And I put my toddler's clothes in here. This is 10 sets of clothes, pants, underwear, shirt, and it was a lot. So this actually compressed really, really well considering all the clothes that are in here. And as I was trying to close this compression zipper, it was a struggle, it was not easy, but it did work. But it made me realize why this Bagel fabric is so thick because you can really stretch it and push it in terms of how much you, push, you put inside of this uh, packing cube. Whereas you really can't with the peak design. So, in the end, the Bag Gales still come out on top for me. They are the cheapest. They offer you the most amount of packing cubes, the uh, biggest variety of sizes and patterns, and the compression works extremely well. I am actually very, very surprised by them. But I am still keeping this peak design, at least the small one. I'm on the fence about the medium because I don't really... I couldn't even come close to filling the medium packing cube. Like the small is the one that worked the best for the amount of clothing that I had. So yeah, I do like the small peak design, but I wish the compression was a little bit more effective or as effective as the Bagales. Those are my conclusions. But you guys let me know what you think in the comments below. If I've uh, gone about this packing cube review the right way, I have never reviewed packing cubes before, but um, I've been very curious about them. So I thought it was worth doing. But let me know your feedback down below and which packing cubes you prefer to use. I would love to hear your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.